Welcome to Saving Hundreds. I, in this lesson I'm learning how knowing 10 ones makes 10 and 10 tens makes 100 can help me solve problems like this. Uh, 286 plus uh, something equals 400. I'm imagining I'm saving for something worth $400 and I've got $286 in my wallet and I'm going to need some more out of my bank account. Oh, you can see over here I've got my 286, 200s, 8 10s and 6 1s. And if I go down a little bit further, you can see that down here I've got all the money which is in my bank account. So the first question I have to ask myself is, I've got 6 1s, how many more ones will I need to get me up to 10? Well, I'd have to add 4 more $1 coins. So I'm going to add them up there now. One, two, three, four. So you can see, in total, I've now got ten $1 coins. So I'm just going to record that over here. I added in four $1 coins. Now you can see I've got a little bit of a problem. I've got ten $1 coins, so I need to swap those ten $1 coins for one ten dollar note. So it's just a straight swap, I'm not getting any more or, or ending up with any less, I'm swapping these ten one dollars for one ten dollar note. Let's do that now. You can see I'm moving all of these ten one dollar coins into my bank account and I'm swapping them for one ten dollar note. So now I need to ask myself, well I've got uh, nine $10 notes now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This last one here came um, because I swapped all these $1 coins for a $10 note. So if I've got nine $10 notes, how many more $10 notes do I need to add? Well the answer is of course I need to add one $10 note. So I'll move that $10 note up to here. Now I just need to record how much I added, and that was $10. Now you can see I've got a new problem here. I've now got 10 uh, $10 notes, and I know that that is the same as one $100 note, so I'm going to have to swap all of these $10 notes, put them into my bank account, and swap it for one $100 note. So just like last time, this is a straight swap. I'm not getting any more or ending up with any less. Let's do that now. Move all of these $10 notes down here into my bank account. And I am swapping them for one of these $100 notes. Now the question says I need to have $400, but you can see over here I've only got $300, so that means I must have to add one more $100 note. So let's move that up here. Now just like last time I have to record how much I added, and you can see I added $100. $100. So you can see I've now got the $400 that I need, and to get there I added $100, I added $10, and I added $4. So in total I added $114. Let's try another example. This time I've got $388 and I need uh, $500. So I'm trying to work out how much more money do I need to get from my bank account. Well, over here I've got my $388 uh, all laid out. So the first question I ask myself is, if I have eight $1 coins, how many more $1 coins do I need to add? And the answer is two. So I'm going to add those two $1 coins up there, and now I'm going to record how much I've just added, and that was two dollars. Right now you can see I've got a little bit of a problem here. I've got ten one dollar coins, so just like last time, I'm going to have to swap those ten one dollar coins for one ten dollar note. I'm going to do that now. There you go, my ten one dollar coins that I'm moving uh, back into the bank, and it's just going to be a straight swap. 10 of these for one $10 note. I'm going to move that up to there. Right now I've got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ten dollar notes. So I ask myself, how many more ten dollar notes do I need to add? And the answer is one. So I'm going to move that up to there. Now just like last time I need to record how much I added and you just saw I just added ten dollars. And just like last time I've got a bit of a problem here now. Now I've got ten ten dollar notes. So I'm going to have to swap those ten ten dollar notes for one one hundred dollar note. I'm just going to do that quickly now. There you go, all the $10 notes. And it's a straight swap for one of these, a $100 note. Now, you can see I've got one, two, three, four $100 notes. The question says I need 500, so that means I must need to add one more $100 note. So I'll add that up to my pile. And now you can see I've got the right amount of money. I'll just record how much I added. I added one of these, which was $100. So you can see in total I added 100, I added 10, and I added 2. So that means I added $112. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful, but if you're still a little bit stuck, there's a really good PowerPoint on this at teachertools.co.nz.